This clip is about the preservation work on the Holbrook Barn. The building is owned by the town of Coopville, and mainly what is needed is a new roof and a workable door system. The work uh, is being carried out by the Coopville Lions, and the focus of this clip really is dealing with the replacement of the deteriorated rafters tails. And uh, here you see what the ultimate goal is as we go along. The rafter tails are all deteriorated across the ends. Uh, it's typical uh, that water gets on them and decay sets in on the rafter tails. So the first step then is to uh, cut off the deteriorated ones and we're doing this just one at a time, uh, alternately, so that we can support the new ones as they, as they come up. Well, what you're seeing here is the cutting off of the rafter tails, and again, it's the alternate ones so that we can support in between. The next step, then, is to um, cut slots into the rafter uh, so that uh, we can connect them together. They're going to be connected together with a fiberglass angle, as you will see in just a minute. It took some time to cut through the rafters because they had a lot of nails in them. Here you're seeing the rafter, the new replacement rafter tails being prepared and cut and um, as well as the fiberglass uh, angle is being prepared with uh, holes for, uh, for being able to fasten it and for sanding. The next step then is to uh, align the rafter tails, the new ones, in place, fasten them in place and in alignment and wrap them with uh, duct tape to prevent the uh, yeah, to, to, to prevent the epoxy from coming, uh, uh, getting onto the sides of the rafters themselves. Okay, here at this stage now, we're ready to inject the epoxy or to uh, squirt in the epoxy into the, uh, the slots uh, that's eventually going to receive the angle. The epoxy is a structural one, and uh, when it cures, it will really give stability to the whole rafter tail itself. After putting the epoxy in the slot, then epoxy is then placed on the very top of the rafter. And now you're seeing the uh, the poltruded fiberglass angle being ready to insert into position. Once it's in place, uh, then it will receive a number of screws that will then attach it down tightly. So between the combination of screws and of the epoxy, it will secure. It will be in secure position. I like your tool. Yeah, it's a nice tool, isn't it? And <laughs> yeah, and and, and George is doing a, a fine job of using it too, of getting some of the excess epoxy off. The ne the the process continues with the uh, alternate. Uh, rafters, as you can see underneath is that ledger board that's holding it all in place. So, uh, at the tail end of all of this really is just going on down through and attaching new rafter tails to the end at, in a scarf a joint condition. The, the overall detail, is, as you can see in here, is that once this is done, then skip sheathing is placed over top and then plywood on top of that and then all of that is screwed together to secure the st structural stability of the exterior rafter tails. On top of that is building paper, cedar breather, and shingles. Once all of this is done, here they are, and this is what it looks like. And, and indeed they look like they may have originally 
when the building was built. This seems like a very appropriate method for preserving rafter tails. Thank you once again to all and hope this has been a helpful video clip.